Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about being proud of yourself and celebrating your accomplishments. Recently, I've been kind of bogged down by work. Work, 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 work. But in that time period, I've also set up a lot of projects. Projects that make me feel, you know, happy and productive. Now the thing about setting up this many projects, you tend to run across a couple of failures. And those failures can bog you down, can make you feel as if all the work you've put doesn't matter. And I want to tell you that that's not true. The fact that you tried matters. The fact that you failed helps you learn how to do it right the next time. And from those failures come learning experiences. So failure should never be looked at as something to be frowned upon. Instead it should be looked at something to change or adapt or kind of help you become a better person or better at that skill. So I've decided I'm going to list a few of my personal accomplishments along with a few of my failures and I'm going to show myself that it's okay. And I hope that you can do the same. So, some of my recent accomplishments were I passed my math test. I worked really hard on it, I studied hard, and I got it done. I've begun learning how to edit and film video, but I'll let you be the judge of that one. I've accomplished my goals of my recent purchases. I got my cameras and my computers that I was really, really uh, hoping to get. I've begun learning marketing, learning skills for my entrepreneur, side of me and how to grow my business. I also learned how to make my first uh, presentation. So I now have video presentations for my company. I also got to finally take a, a mini day vacation. I got to go up to Mount Lemon, it's a mountain we have here in Tucson, and just relax and have a nice day to myself and just enjoy nature. And to top things all off, I also lost about 35 pounds over the past three months. I don't think I did too bad. I've done quite a few things. Now, all of these accomplishments, when you list them alone, seem pretty good. But when you go ahead and mix them up with the things I didn't do so well at, they kind of don't seem as important. Some of the things I've failed at lately. I didn't get to go to the pumpkin patch. I didn't get to go to the corn maze. And some of the prospects I had as far as dating goes didn't exactly pan out. Looking at those things, they might seem kind of minor to you, but in the scheme of things, they were a big deal to me. And then I realized that all of these things, all of these feelings can be remedied. For example, the pumpkin patch and the corn maze, there will be others. Maybe the girl I liked didn't go the way I wanted. It's okay, there are other people out there and I will find something or someone that makes me happy. I guess the moral of this whole story is, don't let the few failures overshadow the glory of your accomplishments. So what if I didn't do all the things I wanted to do? It's okay. As long as I'm living, there's a second chance for everything. At the end of the day, I've done a lot of things worth being proud of. And I can use that same vigor I used to accomplish the other things to go back to my failures and try again. Sometimes things don't pan out for a reason. Sometimes life has something a little bit better planned for you, better than what you had planned or imagined. Or it's simply giving you a chance to learn to be happy with the things you already have. You should take it as a life lesson and move and grow on from there. Well. That's what I had to say for today. Go ahead and leave me your comments about what things you've accomplished lately, or maybe the things you didn't accomplish, maybe you failed at it, and how you're going to go about making it right, or succeeding the second or third, maybe fourth time around. Leave me your comments down below, questions, comments, concerns. Adios, guys. I can't stop looking at my prompter. Thank <laughs> you.